hello my lovely people i hope you are all doing great in today's video i'm going to show you how to install windows 11 on both supported and unsupported devices i'm going to use two methods method 1 to upgrade from windows 10 to windows 11 and method 2 to do a clean windows installation both computer system used in this video does not meet microsoft minimum system requirements for installing windows 11 but the process may work for computers that meet microsoft minimum system requirements and computers that does not all that is needed is to have at least 4GB of computer RAM and a 64GB of storage space. So without wasting much of your time, let's begin. I have this Dell Xperion 3521 which runs a third generation CPU. Although powerful but still does not meet the official system requirements for installing Windows 11. I'm going to walk you through a step by step guide to install Windows 11 on this laptop or any other PC that do not meet the official minimum requirements. All that you need is a USB flash drive of at least 8GB and a strong internet connection. So let's begin. Open any browser of your choice and Google download Windows 11. Click on the first page that says download Windows 11. After you are welcome to download Windows 11 screen, scroll down to create Windows 11 installation media. Click download. After, run the application. Please accept the license terms. Uncheck this option if you are downloading for another PC. Choose the language of your choice and click next. Select the ISO file and click next. Choose a destination. I normally choose the desktop and click save. Please wait for the download process to complete. Now let's use the other download method. Scroll down and select Windows 11 ISO and click download. Here choose your preferred product language and click confirm. Click on 64 bit download. After, the download of Windows 11 ISO file should start here. The file size here is about 5.2 GB. Please wait patiently for it to finish. First of all, Google and download Reforce application. Scroll down. Click on the file to download. After download is completed, run the application and insert your USB flash drive. This is the USB flash drive. Please note that the USB flash drive should be at least 8GB. Click select to choose the Windows 11 ISO file you downloaded. You can find it in the download section. Here click on the partition scheme. Please note that MBR is for older devices like my Dell Inspiron 3521 which runs a third generation CPU and only supports the BIOS system. But for computers with 5th, 6th or 7th generation CPU, please select the JPT partition scheme. If you are confused, then select any of them and if it doesn't work, then you can come back here again to select the other scheme. Leave everything the way it is and click start. Please also ensure that the option of remove requirements for 4GB of RAM, secure boot and TPM 2.0 is also checked. After click OK to start creating the bootable flash drive. 
this pop-up information will alert you that all information on the USB flash drive will be lost during the process. Click OK to proceed or cancel to terminate the process. The USB creation process can take about 10 to 20 minutes depending on the speed of your PC and USB flash drive, so please wait patiently for it to finish. Now, we have successfully created a Windows 11 USB flash drive for both supported and unsupported devices. Let's use it to upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11. First of all, go to the USB flash drive and run the setup.exe to start the installation process. Follow the on-screen instructions to conclude the process. So as you can see, we have been able to upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11 using the USB flash drive we created. Now let's do a clean Windows 11 installation for another unsupported PC. This is HP 280 G1 Intel Core i3 4 generation CPU which does not meet the minimum requirement for installing Windows 11. I will take you through a step-by-step -step guide to install a clean Windows 11 on this PC. First of all, insert your USB flash drive and press the power button to start your PC. After, tap on your computer's manufacturer's boot menu key to display the boot menu screen. These are some of the boot menu keys for some of the well-known manufacturers. Now, choose your USB flash drive and press enter. Select your preferred language and click next. Click install to begin. If you have a genuine product key then you can enter it here. If you don't just click on I don't have a product key. Choose any Windows 11 edition of your choice. I normally prefer Windows 11 Pro. After, click Next. Accept the license agreement and click Next. Choose Custom Install Windows Only. Now, choose your drive. Mine is an empty drive, so I'll click Next to start the installation process. This will take some time, so please be patient. Select your preferred language and click Yes.
choose your keyboard layout and click yes use your network connections to upgrade your windows 11 to its current version Enter any name for your computer and click next. Choose your preferred setup options and click next. Set your preferred privacy settings and click accept. Now, as you can see, Windows 11 is successfully installed. If you find value for this tutorial, please give a thumbs up and also share to anyone you think might need it. Leave a comment if you have any problems or questions and don't forget to subscribe and press the notification bell icon for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and have a great evening.